and that's why we got the win. You were just coming in, but I was asking Isaiah, you, that's first back-to-back -back SEC wins for you guys in, in about six weeks. How good does that feel, and do you feel like the season's getting back on track now that you got Isaiah back? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, <laughs> we, got a, we got our pro back, and, you know, you see how the you see how the season's going. You know, this was this is what we was on before Zay got hurt. We was rolling and we was sixteen and five and we was we was starting to get things going. We lost to Kentucky by what, five, six, but it was good things to go and then we went to Ole Miss, won that game and Zay got hurt and that kinda set us back, but that really made us stronger as a team, going through a five game win streak, but now it's our turn. We feel like it's we've got to start getting the rolling, and we really taking this series serious because this season serious because we want to we know we want to do big things so we want to get to the tournament that's the goal. I guess for the the two guards, just limiting Viscovi was probably a, a priority coming into this game. I think he fin he didn't finish with an assist tonight. Just the job that Jimmy did on him tonight. Oh yeah. It was a uh, Jimmy had an assignment to you know to limit Viscovi this game and he did he did the best anybody could ever do. I mean, I think he limited. That was his first game not hitting a three three point shot this season. Um, Jim, Jimmy is a great defender and people don't people don't see that. But I mean, that's that's what he does. He's gonna play both sides of the ball. He's gonna do what he's got to do to get the win. All three of you guys. Well, you two first, and then Ethan, you're next. <coughs> Ethan second, starting the last three games, career high nine rebounds, three big blocks, and got you off early with some offensive rebounds. Talk about his performance tonight. No, uh, it's just it's good to see Ethan doing Ethan things. You know, we see this, we saw this all summer, and we saw this in training camp. So we knew what he can bring, what he can bring us. But it was just the fact that the coach is starting to trust him, and Ethan finally trusting himself and trusting his work. Ethan is now starting to work out and do good things that that we need him to do for this team and you can see what the things he bring good defense and good rebounding and, and a great rim running so as long as he keep doing that and keep trusting himself then he's going to be all right yeah that makes it like may said i mean we knew and we knew what we can do this is just the first time the fans are seeing what he can do uh we've known this whole year what he's capable of and now that he's getting his time to shine he's, he's taking he took it to heart and he knows he knows he's got to perform every game he's out there and that's exactly what he's doing he's playing great defense he's getting blocks rebounds offense rebounds something that we really haven't been that good get good at all years getting offensive rebounds and he he just brings that brings energy to the team and he got us off to a great start this game yeah four offense rebounds yeah, I'm gonna have two. He tough. I know I had yeah. I know I had two steals though. I don't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, he's a rookie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't yeah, just Ethan, just about your performance, just getting the start and everything else, just what did it do for your confidence tonight? Uh, I think kind of boosted a little bit, you know. Um, be able to start is like be able to start at home is like a big. Thing, I'm, you know, I'm from Arkansas, and it's my first time starting in Bud Walton, and I feel like like I have more like to prove. Like since I have no room for error, like I, I just have to go out there and just play hard, get rebounds, block shots, like do do the things that you know that adds up at the end of the, at the end of the game. Yeah. yeah Mason, you got a thousand points uh, tonight. Well, not tonight, but for your career, and. Um, you're only the eighth guy to do it in two seasons at Arkansas. The great players they've had. What what would that mean to you? And just getting 37, I think that's your ninth 30-point uh, game here in two seasons. No, uh, first <clears throat> you gotta give credit to God because you know I still like I still go home and still dream that I'm still here. You know, because all the hard work that I didn't put in and all the trials that I went through through just to get here, it's just amazing. You know, I really can't really just feel what I'm going through right now because I'm so glad we won, but. Probably when I get to the house, I'm going to really just dive in and be like, wow, I just scored a 1,000 points. So I'm just happy that we got a win and we on a two-game winning streak, and that's how I like it on the winning side, you know. Just looking at my teammates have fun out there. You just see all people just having fun. You can see a new Desi. I just you, People are not really seeing what he really brings. He's, he's spreading the floor. He's like our P.J. Tucker. He's like Lou Williams. He comes off the bench and he's killing now. Teams can't really guard his his Euro step. They don't know what to give up. So it's just things that our team is bringing now. And having Zay back, what is we just we just go click clicking at all terms. And then Ethan bringing what he bring, and Adriel continue bringing. Jimmy just being Jimmy. Jalen just everybody just buying in now. And we all have one goal is to make the tournament. And we know it's one game at a time. So it's not about my achievements. It's about a win and two game winning streak that we own. So that's how I feel. And you guys, they, you, know, you had a 16 point lead. They cut it to two. I think you had a three point play. Isaiah hit a three. Desi hit a three. You guys kind of reestablished control. 
Uh, what was going through your head when they cut it to two, and what did you guys do to, to get the lead, you know, p push it back to pretty big lead? Well, um, just I remember just going back in the huddle when Coach called Tom Miles. They was like, we remember what they did to us at Thick House. So that just filled, that just gave us more power. And we all agreed in the huddle, let's blow them out. Let's, let's be humbled about it, though. Let's have fun, and let's go get stops and run. And that's what we did. We did everything that Coach Muss and the coaching staff wanted to do. And we went out there and just put it on the court. And as long as we keep doing that, then I feel like we're going to have more success going the road. So as long as we just stay humble and don't get complacent. Mesa, was there a, a, a moment or a, a shot that you hit where you were like, I'm probably going to be in for a big night? Um, no, I just, this week has been a little different, you know. I had to sit back and just see, see things different, you know. I went to church and it was a good word and I just, you know, it made me look at life a little different. So I wanted to enjoy the moment. I want to enjoy all the moments that I have because, you know, you never know when your time's going to be. So when I'm out there on the court, it's, I know when I'm like, it take, I might make a shot, and I'm like, okay. But to really tick me off is like when people start talking trash to me or they talk trash to my teammates, that really just like gets me going. And tonight, that's what happened, and I was just in the zone. I just knew that nobody can really just get in front of me because I know what I am. And I know that my work, the work that I put in and the work that my teammates put in is going to help me. So, 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 so can I ask one for Mason, one for Heath? Mason, what, 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 so if Tennessee was talking trash to you? Oh, yeah, for sure, you know. You know, I get that every night, you know, and okay. I, that's, that's like, people don't know that's really what turns me up. And I just go out there and play the game, but, you know, when people try to talk trash to me and tell me what I'm not and tell me that you're not this and, you know, it really just put as fire to my game and that's when I really go out there and show, like, this is why I am and this is what I do. And yeah. Don't ever try to disrespect me, you know, because I don't disrespect other people. And, and, and Ethan, you know, you had real good numbers at Florida, 7.3 rebounds, only 10 minutes, and you had five fouls. What did you do tonight? To, I think you only had one or two fouls in 29 minutes. Well, what did you do differently tonight to, to not foul? Um, I really just stick, stick to the game plan. Um, hands up, body up. If we can front, then front. Um, if we can three-quarter, then three-quarter. <laughs> but, like, if I get behind him, then, like, I try not to foul. I just try, like, to stay vertical and, like, try to block the shot after he jump. But really, like, the game plan was to be to just go out there and just play hard because I know myself and everybody else on my team knows what I can do, so I just got to go out there and show what I can do. Just how much of those extra practices with the red shirts uh, help you? Or oh, like it helped me right? tremendous. It, it's, it's, like, it's a confidence booster. You get to try stuff that you can't really, like, try in an actual game. So you got to, like, 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 figure stuff out. Like, you know who you are. Like, like I play with, with J.D., Connor, Bebe. Emeka, Ty, Jamario, like we all just like play hard and we learn from each other at that. We're on the floor coaching each other. So as long as I keep doing that, putting in extra work, then I feel like we're going to be a great team. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs>